Right. Yo, boys, it's Dan. Welcome to the second legs of the Europa League last six. Dean, there were some big shocks. There were some teams you wouldn't expect it to, to do well. And one team that's almost certainly put themselves in that hat of a quarter four of a quarter finals. Let's find out who will progress. Before we get into it, smash that like and subscribe and let's go. So all the games are being played at 8 pm and now being played at set at 5 or 45. So it's basically been a switch rooney. And we're gonna start off with Finabachi versus Sevilla. Now, after the first leg in Seville, it was a 2 0 win to Sevilla. Yes, like I've been saying all this time, Sevilla are a very good footballing team. A very, very, very good footballing team. They had their two well drilled goals. But first, for the back, they're not near the top of the Turkish league. And, and I would see Sevilla knocking them, I would see Sevilla knocking out Fenerbahce by 2-0 again, so 4-0 on aggregate to the Sevillans. Now we move to Feyenoord versus Shakhtar Donetsk. In so-called Poland, because that's how they're playing the home game in Shakhtar Donetsk, it was 1-1. But in the, in the Dutch cap, in Dutch, in the Dutch Eredivisie, Feyenoord are top of Eredivisie, so that means they are very good in Dutch, in, in, in Holland. But, I mean, you can't take Shakhtar for granted. Like, you cannot take Shakhtar Donetsk for granted. They are a very, very capable team. Finally, they have lots of stuff. Finally, they have lots of like the Timbers and the Holland, you know, some sort of cracking players as well. But I, I can see this game being close. I'm gonna say it'll be final. It'll be final two. Shakhtar Donetsk three and Shakhtar Donetsk just go through on yeah. Now we move to Real Betis versus Manchester United. After the first leg in Manchester, it was four one to Manchester United. Honestly, let's talk about that quickly. After the 7 0 dummy we got against Liverpool, that is a that is a fantastic way to come back. Ericsson Hard said, I want more, I want more, I want more, I want more. And then the disappointing draw at the weekend in Southampton. He has to make it himself again, but luckily he is okay to play in this game. I mean, it's like it's really gonna matter. Let me see, yeah. I mean, to be fair, it's a man man player green is um Batiste. They weren't that good. Like, they're not the best Spanish team out there right now, but I mean, we're, we're, we're pretty much in the last, we're, we're pretty much in the quarterfinals already, pretty much. I can't see us losing it now. Is it going to be, is it going to be a experience, is it, I mean, he will, he will obviously play a strong team, but will he, but will he also think, because he has to play Tottenham on the run there, will, we don't know, about, we don't know what he's going to do. He might decide to play some of these youngsters in this game to like give them game time, but we, but we can't go too many young, youngsters because we don't have to go like, losing the game. I'm gonna go two 0 Manchester United, and we'll secure our place in the, the, the quarterfinals of the Europa League. Now we move to SC Freiburg versus Juventus in, in two win. 1-0 to Juventus. Now, as we are aware, Juventus were away, were good. Yes, they're not doing that well in, in Serie A. They did have that point deduction. But, I mean, Napoli are 1-0 away. I mean, you know, in, in Serie A, they're 1-0 away. They're on, Napoli. on Napoli. Freiburg, they're out there in, they're out there in Bundesliga. I mean... We can see how these teams are, close, are, are very evenly matched because they're up there. <laughs> they're both doing really well and they're sort of sick as well. Juventus, I mean, Juventus are just. Juventus, I mean, they're just Juventus, so they can't. They're, 
they're the students so they're always up there Whether, I mean I'm gonna go with a really close game here of one one that means that Juventus will go through two one on aggregate and we're going to be and we're going to be eight o'clock kickoff soon which starting off with Arsenal versus Sporting at Lisbon In Lisbon, it was two all. Yes, I did say in for previous leg one. If you haven't gone to see that one, I mean, I will, I will recommend seeing it as well. But I said in the first leg as a that sport in Lisbon are a decent team, and I was proven correct because sport in Lisbon was a very good football team, a very good team to play against, to play with. Sorry, no against. Yeah. Now, like in Newcastle, they frustrate teams. I mean, at Arsenal. I'm gonna go again. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go to Sporting again. I'm gonna go three two Sporting, and they'll go through. And we move to Ferens Forest QC versus Bayer Leverkusen. Now in Leverkusen, it was two 0 to Leverkusen. They're in control. They are absolutely in control here. I would see him. I would see him going. I would see him doing well here now. I would see him confident, comfortably winning. I'm going one 0 win to Leverkusen, and they will secure, they will secure their place in the last in the quarterfinals. And we move to the penultimate game, which is Real Sociedad versus AS Loma. Now, in Lom. I mean, Rom, yes, under Mourinho, Tammy Abraham is severely, heavily being linked with a move back to the Premier League. And he might be not at Old Trafford. Him or Osherman, I'd like to come to Old Trafford. Comment down below, man, 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 who would you would like to see come as a striker, Osherman or T Tammy? We will find out who will it be in the summer. Hopefully, he'll be a decent striker. And with Blom, they're in control. Let's say, but so said that they're not a good team. They're not a good team at all. We could have no Spanish representatives in the quarterfinals of the Europa League if Betis are probably out. So you should add. Are more likely going to go out as well. So you could have no Spanish representatives in the Europa League anymore. And it, would, and it would just be Real flying that flag high for your for Champions for Spain in Champions League if they get through to that. As I've done with it, and I've done well. I'm going to go back to Europe League 2 0 to Long. 4 0 to Long, and they'll go through. Now we move to the last game of this game. It's an absolute cracker in Berlin. It's Union Bank Golis versus Union Berlin. Yes, it is an absolute cracker in Berlin. If you are doing this packing content, smash like and subscribe. Let's kick back. Let's kick over to 250 subs. Let's go, boys. Yes, it was a cracker in Berlin of a 3 3. And it moves to Union Saint Gallus. I think it goes back to Austria. I'm not sure where they're based, but what a game in the first leg. I was, I was, I was, I was keeping up with it. I was going, I was going flying. Yeah, I don't have an idea. But Union Berlin, Saint Union Berlin, it's honestly one of the best games. This this second leg could have a lot in store. I don't know what it will have in store, but there will be a lot. I'm saying it will be two. No, I'm gonna go three, two. Union Berlin. They will go through, and that will bring. The Europa League, last 16, leg number two to an end. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you all on Friday for a FA Cup quarter final prediction. I might also include the six or five time again and again that I picked to win the prediction at that time. It will be an FA Cup quarter final predictions. Until then... Have a lovely, lovely week, boys. Hopefully, can 
United to qualify, can Arsenal qualify? Who will go through that mental game with the Union Berlin and Stephen St. Greece? Will we have no Spanish representative to find out on Thursday? Stay tuned.